Transuricer inoculation of the prostate is an evolving approach for management of all size PBH. Holip has proven its safety and efficacy and durability, and it is considered the reference transuricer inoculation technique, and different kinds of energy have been utilized to accomplish the inoculation procedure. Holip procedure starts by creation of a working channel from the bladder neck to just lateral to the vera montana. We start the procedure by careful inspection of the prostate anatomy, looking for the deeps to groove at the bladder neck, where we have to start our incision. The incision is made at the bladder neck and extending deep to the surgical capsule. And the created working channel is widened to create a trough by the signal underneath the lateral loop. The scoop is tilted and the mucosa is incised lateral to the vera montana. Then after developing of the inoculation plane using the tip of the sex scoop was planted the section underneath the inoculated adenoma. Progressing the section underneath the inoculated and the noma is continued. It's a laser assisted procedure. The adenoma is put under tension and the laser beam is used to dissect any attachment between the adenoma and the surgical capsule. For plasma kinetic inoculation and resection of the prostate, the procedure starts by marking the mucosa proxima and lateral to the vero montana. We use the rososcope to the apex of the prostate. And we start marking of the mucosa only, and just lateral to the vero montana, the 12 o'clock position. The blunt tip of the resectoscope is used to open up the plane of inoculation between the adenoma and surgical capsule. Manipulation of the scope gently will continue to dissect the adenoma of the surgical capsule, and the hot lobe is used to cut any attachments that resist blunt inoculation. The dissection is continued bluntly underneath the adenoma towards the bladder neck. Procedures. After creation of the plane of inoculation between the adenoma and surgical capsule, the scoop moves in two dimensions, bladder neck side movement and rotating movement following the adenoma contour. The scoop is tilted and the section continues laterally between the adenoma and the surgical capsule. Progress of this section following contour of the adenoma is continued anteriorly and finally the scoop is riding the adenoma and the roof of the section is a surgical capsule. In both procedures, at this stage the adenoma is still attached at circumferentially at the blood on neck, anterior commissioned to the contralateral loop and the mucosal strip anchoring the adenoma to the sphincter at 12 o'clock position. Then after, the bladder is approached at 12 o'clock position. Only in whole procedure, the adenoma is dissected of the bladder neck completely and all around. In both procedures, the scoop is rotated 100 degrees up and pulled out by riding over the adenoma. The next step is to separate the adenoma from the sphincter by cutting the residual mucosal strip. In Holly procedure, with rotated the scoop up, the mucosal strip is identified by looking for the adenoma and sphincter and the vero montana.
and for cutting of the mucosal strip, the laser energy is reduced and we start cutting transversely and parallel to the sphincter fibers. Now our direction in cutting is directed towards the anterior commissure, which is the anterior attachment between the two adenomas. Any remaining attachment of the adenoma to the contralateral one is completely cut through cutting the anterior commissure, which is the attachment to the contralateral adenoma. And finally, the adenoma is now completely detached and pushed to the bladder for the next step of morselation. On the other side, the mucosal strip is similarly identified by looking to the vero montanum and the adenoma. And then after, the mucosal strip is cut in a similar way. The mucosal strip is cut transversely and parallel to the sphincter fibers. Similarly, cutting the anterior commissure, separating the adenoma from the contralateral one. And the procedure is concluded by tissue retrieval. Following a hole, the adenoma is pushed to the bladder and sucked out using tissue morselator. And following plasma kinetic inoculation resection, the adenoma is left attached at the bladder neck and resected in situ using the plasma. Piranha morselator is used for retrieval of the intravesical adenoma. The inside to resection of partially inoculated adenoma is used. We are reporting on 32 matched pairs of post procedures done by a single surgeon. In this comparison, there were similar preoperative process size and resected prostate tissue weight. However, significantly more operative time and risk of capsular vibration was reported after plasma procedure when compared to HOLIP. With no difference in post groups is regard, hospital stay and time to caster removal. Significant and comparable improvement in symptom score and flow rate was reported in both groups at different follow-up points. Plasma kinetic inoculation and resection of the prostate is equally safe and effective as HOLIP for treatment of moderate to large size PPH with more operative time and slightly more risk of capsular violation.